Okay, so this is a great new package from Craig Lotta called Spoon. Eventually we have hopes that Spoon will be uh, the basis of Squeak. I won't try to explain it until I've got it downloaded and working. Bear in mind that this is extremely early alpha software and um, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned up. But it is so cool, I thought I'd show it as it is now. So we go out to this website, netjam.org, Spoon Releases Current, and we download the release. And once you download it, you will find you have a zip file, which you then unzip. This, by the way, is a very Mac-specific process right now. And we're going to rename that. Well, first we're going to duplicate it twice. First one we're going to call history. And we're going to show package contents. Find the info plist file and open it. And you can open it with many different packages. Um, if you aren't a regular programmer, you won't have Xcode installed and may not have BB Edit. So let's try something a little more generic. All applications, we're going to go with O. Text edit. Always open with. Open it. Okay. Notice we have this uh, XML file. Now we're going to do a find with text edit, and we're going to find the squeak image name. There it is. Notice it's key squeak image name key followed by string spoon 3 alpha 3 image string. So what we want to do is replace the spoon 3 alpha 3 dot image with history dot image and save it. Now we do the same thing again. We duplicate Duplicate, excuse me, duplicate the uh, spoon alpha thing and rename it to subject. Subject. Show package contents. Find our P list. Right click on it, open with text edit again. I've got to go all applications to find it. Again, find squeak image name. And now change that name to. Um, Subject dot image and save it. Now we have three copies of the Spoon 3 Alpha. One's named History, one's named Subject, and one is the original. So first we start History, open it, allow it to accept network connections, open the subject application, allow it to accept network applications, and now we open Spoon 3 Alpha 3. Open it. Give it time to go through. Make sure it comes to the front. And this is the window we get when we open it. 
Notice there's some, there's an inspector window open with some nice notes left to us by the creator. So the first thing we do, since we've already opened the history and subject um, copies, that's what he means by memories. We've started those two other copies. We're going to select this code, self connect to port, blah, 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 blah connect and do it. And it's going to say, can I accept incoming con network connections? Yes, I can. Now we can send messages to those other uh, versions of, of squeak that we have running the history and the subject and we can ping it and it's going to beep at us and then we can open a class browser into one of those versions in this case the um, the subject one and this opens the class browser looks like a normal class browser well it's actually the classes that are available in that other image Notice that there's only a few of them. If we open a class browser in this image, notice it's just the normal system browser. Compare how many classes there are. Huge numbers. Most of which don't even exist in this other image. So now you see we basically can browse the class libraries on our other image, which doesn't even have a graphical inter interface, you notice there's no morphic or MVC classes involved here. Just the enough classes to send messages back and forth and, and handle the, the spoon related stuff. There's some array stuff, string stuff, and all the rest of it, but there's no graphical interface at all. We're controlling it completely through this particular image right here, the one that we're looking at. So that's how you install it and get it running. So in our next lesson we'll look at what it actually can do in this very preliminary version. It's quite cool.